Welcome. This is acoustic guitar lesson number eight. I'm gonna get into this song called Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz. We're advancing, we're moving into the realm of four chords. And um, if you're at home, you can write this out on a piece of paper. It's gonna be A four times, C four times, G four times, D four times. Now our last lesson, that was lesson number seven. I talked about this new chord A, and I used A again for this Kravitz tune. And you're just taking your first finger and you're just gonna mash it down. It's called a bar. You're gonna make a bar on the second fret. You're gonna cover strings four, three, and two with a bar on your first finger, okay? Now the fifth string is gonna ring open, but I want you to take your first finger and just bar it on the second fret and cover strings four, three, and two on the second fret, okay? And just push hard push right into your thumb, okay? okay? You don't want to necessarily ring the sixth string or the first string. That might take some practice to have that amount of control to only ring strings five, four, three, two. It looks like, like that. We're gonna go to C. So your third finger is gonna be on the fifth string, third fret. Your second finger is gonna be on the fourth string, second fret. And your first finger is gonna be on the second string, first fret. And that's the C chord. Play strings five, four, three, two. I'm sorry, five, four, three, two, and one, that is. Moving on to G. Okay, just to recap, hopefully you already know it, but find your G. You're putting your second finger on the sixth string, third fret. Put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and put your third finger on the first string, third fret, and play all six strings for G. A nice big fat chord G is. Okay, and lastly, we're going to D. Okay, for D, you're taking your first finger, put it on the third string, second fret, your third finger on the second string, third fret, and your second finger on the first string, second fret. Strings four, three, two, one. It's A, C, G, D. And now we're gonna build this groove. I'm gonna slowly ease you into the song, starting first with a drum beat. So we're going to start with the A, and watch the beat. It's A, C, G, D. Then we're going to do two strums each like this. Like this. A, C, G, Give yourself time. That that could easily take you a week. Okay, so just slow it down. After you get comfortable with that, we're gonna try three hits. It's gonna go like this. From the A, it's C, G, D, A, C, G. this concept of the upstroke and I want you to go down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Five hits. So it's down, up, down, up, down. Switch, switch, switch. You can do it. You just got to come up with the same authority you came down. The same rules apply in terms of what strings you got to hit, okay? Listen, if you hit a couple of wrong strings, it's no big deal. You know, don't let that stop you from establishing the groove. But in general, you understand the idea. You want to hit the, hit the right strings to, to voice the chord appropriately. Watch with the drums, okay? Here's the groove. Five hits each, including the up-down. So it's like this. Just 
just take your time. But now I'm going to bring us into the actual song tempo. Just stay with me. Here we go. It's like... And it's A, C, G, D, A, C, G, D. Lenny Kravitz's Fly Away. Let's try it, okay? And this is how it goes. It's a lot of fun, guys. Um, I just want to encourage you to not be content with just playing the chords and the rhythms by yourself. Go all the way and try to play with the song. It's going to challenge you more. And the reason it's going to challenge you more is because you have to pay attention to the song and get in sync with them instead of just doing what you want to do at your own tempo. Okay, and it's a lot like learning a new language. It's not enough just to get the workbook and get the CD. You have to actually interact with somebody in that language and dialogue with them for you to really uh, get the feel of that language and to, to, to share and to speak in that language. Well, music is a language, and ultimately I'm trying to prep you to be able to play with other people, but in the meantime, you can just play with the songs. So listen to the songs, listen to them every day. If this is the song you're working on this week and practice every day, at least 30 minutes a day, give yourself at least a week. You may need to give yourself two weeks. This is, this is a tough one, but I purposely included it. It challenges you a little bit on your rhythm and it's worth it. So persevere and it'll definitely pay off. Okay, but take your time and when you're ready, I'll see you at the next lesson.